Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT. Welcome to Ham Radio Portable. Well, it's late February. That can only mean one thing. CQ Worldwide 160 contest. And we're right in the middle of it. Let me show you around. All right, I'm out here with my buddy, Steve. KM4SLW. And we are right in the middle of the CQ Worldwide 160 sideband contest is Saturday hasn't got dark yet and uh, we've made uh, quite a few contacts for Friday night uh, 208 something like that yeah we didn't work but till about 11 o'clock maybe four hours so quite impressed uh, compared to last year he did make some uh, improvements on the antenna system here so uh, I'm gonna back out of the way and let him uh, talk about that all right, Steve, tell us uh, what kind of improvements we've made to this. And well, tell me what it is again. Well, it's a vertical uh, inverted L, and it's got uh, six uh, elevated radials, 133-foot uh, radials. And you see this sort of little center here, center hubs, and they go scattered around through the woods back here. But the antenna goes straight up the top of this tree, and it goes across. I don't remember the exact dimensions, but it goes across to another tree here. In the I do notice property. one thing uh, right away. You went to uh, insulated wire over <laughs> that uh, aluminum well, wire. Yeah, last year we tried uh, 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 electric fence wire, and uh, it's cheap, but it's impossible to work with. It, it's just got too much, too much coil memory in it, too easy to break. So this year we went to uh, an 18 gauge insulated wire. Okay. A whole lot easier to work with. All right, and I think we added maybe one or two extra radials this year. I maybe? think there was maybe four radials last year, six so this now time. We, now we're up to six, and uh, these things are stretched way out. Yeah, they go all over the place. Yeah, I don't even think you can keep yeah. them on five acres, can you? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. All right, and I see some uh, uh, new looking coax up there. That's upgraded. Yeah, it's RG213 cable. And you're putting a little more power through it. So. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Let's look around some more. All right. I see here going into the wall before it goes into the wall. Which what what have you got here? Well, I've got a couple of uh, common mode chokes. Okay. You, you got see they're made with two forty dash thirty one mix. Okay. Um, cores. We had some issues last year with some uh, common mode, and uh, this is this is stopped. This is fixed. That. Okay, well good, that, that looks nice. And that's, that's home brew, so yep. it's not a store-bought one. No. Good deal. Yeah, this is our uh, in-fed half-wave box. Uh, 52 by something, three-core mix. I've got, I've got some yeah, other there's a, photos. There's, there's like three it. cores, they're, um, they're type, type 43s, but there's three of them. Okay, I'm on. I've got some uh, other footage I can probably put on that, but this thing's pretty much going up the same way it did last time, up 55 foot in the hickory, and then over to the top of the pine tree. All right. uh, this particular one is uh, has three cores. They're uh, the 290 Type 43s, and uh, three of them together, and uh, this one has three, uh, three turns on the primary. It only this one really is only good for 160 and 80. It, it's uh, with that particular uh, windings, it's not really good for anything else. Okay. All right. This antenna goes up straight up. And uh, how far did we determine? We I don't know I how think we, we got. We said this was about 55, maybe 60 feet. About 60 foot. Top it went of this uh, this big hickory. And then it's in an inverted L pattern all the way over, to the, over, top of over that. the top of that pine tree. Over the top of this pine tree. We estimated that about 85 foot. So it's inverted L. Actually, there's still some. Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm looking up the hickory tree. You probably can't see it on camera, but it looks like fishing line everywhere in this. <laughs> It got a few tangles. Uh, reshoot. Had to reshoot the line. We thought we could save it from last year, but it's uh, it, it wore the insulation off. So, yeah, 
It's about 65 feet. 65 foot. You definitely want to shoot this in the wintertime without any uh, leaves on it. I don't think you have a chance in the summer. All right, we are coming to you live from the ham shack of KM4SLW. And you've turned this thing around since the last time I was here. Oh, uh, just rearrange the furniture. Rearrange the furniture. Is there any new hardware or anything we're doing different this year? I think we're probably pretty much the same. Still same. running this. 7300 and ALS 600. Run the low amp this year and uh, got an extra screen on the wall. Yeah. That, that's pretty handy if two of you are working and uh, what somebody's logging then uh, you can kind of look while you're working to make sure they're getting the call correct which you always get the that call helps. correct. Yeah. That helps. And uh, I don't know I guess we're just waiting for it to get dark to kick this Saturday night portion of the uh, CQ160 off. I don't know. I think it's uh, getting about close to dinner time. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's about burger time. It's a fire the grill up. Yeah, let's 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 go fire that grill up. I'm about ready. Let's go. And what would a contest be without a a proper meal? What do you think? Of? I think that's going to do it. we got some burgers going, so uh, that's going to be dinner tonight. It's just about to get dark. It probably, is. probably some signals going here shortly. They were starting up real sick yesterday. Yeah, they they some other pushing some power, I guess, was yeah. getting going early. Secret contest, secret contest. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. November 9, Quebec Hotel Whiskey. Uh, good signal. Copy 5-9 uh, from Georgia. Thanks for Indiana. 73, good luck. Kilo 3, Juliet again. Japan Oscar, got it. You're 5-9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. All right, thank you for Mike Alpha. 73, good luck. Alpha Delta 4 X-Ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X-Ray Tango, 5 Alpha. Roger, 5-9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. QSL, you are 5-9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. QSL, you are 5-9 Georgia. Kilo Germany 4 Whiskey, good signal, 5-9 Georgia. QSL Georgia, you 5-9 Victor Alpha. Thank you for Virginia, good luck, 73. 73. Uh, Alpha Delta 4 X-Ray Tango, QRZ. November 9, Golf Hotel. November 9, Golf Hotel, uh, thank you, you are 5-9 Georgia. Roger, thanks, 5-9 Wisconsin. All right, thank you for Wisconsin in 73. Kilo 4, Golf India Golf. Kilo 4, Golf India Golf. Good signal, 5-9 Georgia, back to you. 5-9 Alabama. Thank you for Alabama, roll tide. Kilowatt Zero, Papa Golf, you're 5-9 Georgia. QSL, thanks for Illinois. Whiskey Alpha 4, Zulu, Aquilo, Oscar, you're 5'9, Georgia. Copy 5'9, Georgia, you're also 5'9, Georgia, Golf Alpha. QSL, thanks for Georgia. That's what we thought was getting long distance. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu 8, Delta X ray, 5'9, uh, Georgia. Uh, QSL in Ohio, the station ending in Victoria. Whiskey 
X-ray something. Whiskey X-ray station. Whiskey X-Ray Zero Victoria, your 5-9 Georgia. Thank you. Thank you. QSL. Where am I getting? That's a groupie. Oh. <laughs> what did he say? Thank you. He said, I love your YouTube channel. I'm going to run my one groupie off. Alpha Delta 4 X-Ray Tank. Well, you ready to wrap this thing up Sunday yep. Sunday morning? Yep, let's do it. You know, we said we was going to get up early in the morning and see if we could work a few more contacts. Uh, that didn't work out. We, uh, I guess we were tired. We, we, we kind of overslept a wee bit. Yeah, 9 o'clock. <laughs> of course, we didn't go to bed after 3. But that's what you got to do for this contest. Uh, shoot, I don't know. Uh, what we learned we came in here and worked uh, about three three four hours on friday night and the band seemed like they might have yeah. been better yeah band conditions uh, uh, seemed to be better friday night than this saturday yeah we made uh a total of 351 contacts but we made 212 contacts friday night just with uh you know three and a half hours four hours of uh, work so we didn't realize how good we had it on friday night saturday night we had to work for it i mean it yeah. was a, it was a struggle we uh made 139 contacts on saturday night and uh, they weren't easy we weren't like running a pilot we were uh yeah i'm glad we had a voice recorder yeah. button <laughs> lots of calling antenna wise we had the uh, elevated vertical in the end fed halfway again. Did we see much difference? They seem to be about the same. Uh, maybe a slight edge to the uh, the the end fed halfway with the um, inverted L. All right. So uh, he's going to keep it up just a little while longer. Maybe check it with some rag chew groups and uh, test it out real good. If it's not any better, I think next year we might put another in fed half wave up have one one direction and one another direction you know yeah, worth, worth thinking on that but anyways we finished with uh, 351 contacts 34,470 points uh that that beats last year's uh 22,000 so you know overall it was pretty good we, we just felt like we struggled last night with it running so slow but we we just worked so many stations on Friday night, so hey, that's the way it goes. But anyways, hope you enjoy that. Anything else? No, that's about it. All right. Well, we're going to call it right here, and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, catch us again. We're going to be out uh, contesting some more here pretty soon. Georgia QSO party. He's got all these plaques on the wall over here so we have to, we have to defend our uh, it's going to be tough this year defend our crown <laughs> all of our all of our secrets for uh operating portable are out there heck i'm putting them out there on on this channel so uh, hey i hope you liked it and uh like and subscribe if you haven't we do a lot of this and uh hey i'll catch you again on the next ham radio portable 73 73